Good evening, folks. I'm Tassinix, and welcome to Season 51, uh, Week 3, Round 1, for 5 versus 5, Grand Arena Championship in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So, uh, once again, I'm fighting an old friend here, uh, former guildmate, Arsenal416, the Vanguard, of Maw Vanguard of Disorder. So yeah, look look at look at him look at him out here just rocking it with C and Bane, doing it big. All right, y'all know what it is. Let's get the prediction up on screen. Get to it. Um, ba -ba -ba. We'll do this one. Set it up for ten minutes. Go. All right, let's go ahead and get the compare on screen here. Now I've tried to change things up in the scene a little bit. See if this helps us. Let's see if it works. Where's the button? Hey, look at that. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, rank 43 fighting rank 46. My 14.2 million GP to his 13.8. Top 80 GP, 3.11 to his 3.06 million. Uh, Zetas, my 343 to his 343. Dead nuts. We've got it all. GAC Omicrons, my 53 to his 52. We're, we're, we're pretty much there, man. All right. Top 80 average speed, my 161 to his 163. One of the rare opponents. Uh, that, that's got me beat on the average. That's fair. All right. Um, mod analysis, plus 25s, my 185 to his 234. 20 to 24 is my 433 to his 528. Plus 20s, I have 618 to his 762. Um, plus 4% offenses, I have 155 to his 129, and plus 6%, uh, I have, <coughs> excuse me, 49 uh, to his 32. So thank God for the offense, because he's got us pretty good on speed. Solfeggio, first time catching you live. Good luck. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the follow. Good to see you. Sw uh, Falcon, you're facing uh, Valico. Looks like he saved everything for offense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's uh, Valico's been very successful this season doing that. So, be careful, you know. Hopefully you've got some type of plan for him. Otherwise, yeah, you're going you're gonna to have yourself a time on that one. All right, Trev, good luck tonight. Appreciate you, man. Uh, i got to reframe this. See, mm, I'll, fr I'll frame that later. Mm. All right, Relic Analysis. My total levels, 2075 to his 1950. Pretty close. Uh, Relic 9s, my 85 to his 51. That's huge. Big difference. Relic 8s, my 127 to his 98. And Relic 7s, my 38 to his 92. Datacron analysis, my 229 total rerolls to his 382. So our man went pretty good here on this uh, set 13. Level 9s, I have 41 to his 48. 6 to 8s, I have 8. He has 6. Three to fives, I have nine, he is four. All right, GL comparison. Feel free to pause the VOD, take a screen grab, whatever you want to do. Anything jump right out at me? Not particularly. It's all pretty decent, all pretty standard fare. All right. Likewise with key characters. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Very fast cat. That's a dangerous cat. Very fast Malgus, too. Hmm, all right. All right, Sheepdog, yes, yes. Once more, we fight Arsenal. It's going to be a good time. All right, and then we're tied up on fleets. Very good. Let's go ahead and plug in the Omega Bop. <coughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, attack timing. Yeah, so he likes to go early. Uh, spoiler, he's done most of his attacks already. Uh, yeah, guy likes to go early, wants to, you know, seize the initiative all right as far as mod comparison just looking here at speed uh we see arsenal's got me pretty good here through this middle band on speed and then i you know we even up here towards i don't know 26 27 hmm. all right gc omicron comparison yeah i mean there's very little daylight between us i don't have the tuscan one he doesn't have stat that's it so the home team here is tassinix <laughs> That's it. I mean, I should hope so. I should hope so. All right. Uh, have I faced TJ before? Yeah, I have. In the very distant past. Um, I think we only fought the one time. 
I don't think we've uh, actually managed to meet up ever since, but just the one time. Decepticons, hey Tass, hope you're doing well. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, so far so good. You know, um, and really enjoying the season so far. You guys are making it a lot of fun. Um, all right, squad banner efficiency here. So, most of his attacks <coughs> are 65. That's the tallest black bar there. The tallest orange bar right next to it there says that where he's getting 65, his opponents are also getting a lot of them, but not quite as many as he is. So, he's winning the efficiency game there. Uh, likewise, at 64, it looks like he's getting edged out by his opponents on average a little bit on 62, 63. And then pretty competitive throughout... I would say, what, a, a, a couple of two shots and one three shot um, in both weeks so far. I'd say that's fair. We fought three times? Man, I'll have to take your word on that, my dude. And I won two of them, he won one. Okay, there you go. Take it from TJ. I would trust his memory on this. I was like, I feel like we, yeah, okay. You know what my mind did? It probably just, like, canceled. If, if I've won two and you've won one, my brain said, like, net one, and that's all I remembered. Uh, that sounds like a perfect Tassinix brain thing to do. Sorry for the sports reference here, for Sarso. That's okay. You don't have to apologize because I didn't get it. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, defense tab. Oh, yeah, let me make sure that I turn this off. Now, Arsenal said he might pop in the chat here, so he's got the appropriate flag that he should be able to join us. Man, that is just going to drive me wild all evening. I have got to fix that. Not now, but, like, right now. That is going to drive me nuts. How do you want to handle it, then? Uh, good question. Up, 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 up. Something like that. It's a little less jarring. I'll have to... Can I shrink you a little this way, or are you going to give me a bunch of guff about it? You don't like it. You don't like it. You don't like it when I try to massage you into place. You're not going to be a good customer, are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's the best we're going to have it for now, but... It was just sticking out like a sore thumb and just driving me crazy. Okay, uh, defenses by zone. So yeah, Arsenal's one of those guys. He does like to mix it up. Not necessarily a ton of changes of what the teams are, but he'll frequently, um, you know, it would appear that he scouts his opponents and, uh, yeah, looks for opportunities to switch up position of teams to get good draws and set you up for some type of pain in the back. So, anyway, Ray Swallow, C, uh, General Grievous, that's going to be with Stapp, I think. Um, Reva, Saw, Vader, Darth Vader lead with Lord Vader on it. Um, Jabba, DTMG, Trenchwatt, Bo-Katan, Mando, some of the time, Qui-Gon, Gas, Crex, everything after that's kind of rare. I would say it's less common to see. All right, Malevolence, Executrix, Chimera are his most probable things seen on defense. Otherwise, yeah, Negotiator, Radis, and Executor sometimes. But in general, he's going pretty light on fleet. He's not trying to get caught out. So I respect that. All right, let me kill the camera here because it's somewhat in the way while you're trying to see this lower part of the graph. All right. So squad defenses by zone. This is always a gem. Like I said, we can see here the color coding has back zone is uh, orange, top side, uh, you know, top front is green and bottom front is yellow. So Ray Swallow and uh, C have been on defense uh, bottom front for most of the season. All right. We might otherwise expect to see Vader, Darth Vader lead, Lord Vader up there, uh, DTMG, JMK Cat, or Maul with Lord Vader. You see how, how, how much he's changing up those last two teams on the bottom front wall. Jabba's always in the back. Very interesting. We must be careful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Offense. So, Seer Malikos, 100% of the time. Now, remember that, because that one's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, Palp Starkiller, Aphra, Malgus, Slacker, JMK Cat, Bam... 
Qui-Gon, Maul, Leia, Bo-Katan, Mando, Bane, JML, and the rest of it's kind of an odd mix. But saving off, uh, an awful lot for offense, right? So it's what? Uh, Slacker, JMK, JML. Hmm. Honestly, it is a fair, fair number that he must have down. So race full OC, Lord Vader, Java. JMK sometimes. Man, the guy can go heavy, so we'll have to. We're going to see what we're going to see. Might be an interesting ride. Uh, I'm expecting as much. All right, so, yeah. Uh, what gave him some trouble here? Oh, yeah, we can see here on attack, he used Profundity, Leviathan, 100% uh, of the time, Executor, half the time, and Chimera, the other half. I guess, I don't know. This is like a cleanup for these two drops, these usages of Negotiator. That's my guess. All right, teams faced by Arsenal. Uh, that gave him some trouble, at least. Malgus once, Akbar once, so that must be like an Akbar lead with Leia. Abokatan, of course, Saw Gerrera. And then the rest of it's pretty damn clean, right? You know, um, at least one shots. So what? What is that? One, two, three, four, five drop fights the entire season going into week three. Not bad. All right, um... What gave him a bit trouble of, of trouble fleet-wise? Looks like he had a bad run-in with an Endurance once and an Executor. Cleaned it up on the second go, or at least, you know, managed to clean it up eventually. All right. Let's check where we're at. How are we doing? All right, prediction time's done. Let's uh, put the game back on. Boom. Let's get my mug back on here. All right. Okay, let's have a look at this board. All right. Um, so, yeah, I can't show you the fleet zone. Arsenal hasn't attempted anything in the fleet zone yet, but if I go in there, it'll reveal what my reinforcements are, and I'm not really trying to do that. So, yeah, you'll just have to let that exist in your imagination. But let's talk about topside. We'll wrap our way around to the bottom. So, up top I had set Ray, Swolo, Cal, Zaris, and GK. He 65'd it. Against Trench, Django, uh, Dooku, Newt, and Watt. Uh, again, you know, it's just the Sashisha special here. Um, stripped two banners on the first go. I think he took out Django and Watt. So it was still Trench, Dooku, Newt. That's, that's not nothing. Nonetheless, he cleaned it up nicely for 43. Total of 45. All right. Seer, Malikos, Crew, uh, Kylo, and Fulcrum. Just took right out for 64. Probably like a Sith Eternal kind of thing. Uh, Finzori, he took out for 65. So we are very grateful to even get one hold there. All right. Bottom front. Uh, Gas Crex. What did our man get? I think he just crushed that one, actually. Uh, no, he 65 did. Okay. Against DTMG, he got a 64. Uh, against Saw, Chirrut, Bays, Cassian, and SRP, got a 61. Um, by suspicion, it's kind of, it's already happened to me at least once this season. This was Afra, and the fight went long enough that the fire went off, and that strips a whole bunch of banners just about before you're ready to end the fight. Like, you're not going to have time to come around a couple times and, you know, build your protection back up. It's just not going to happen. All right, and then last but not least, Qui-Gon, JKA, Cam, Kellerin, and Mace, and he 68 at it. So he may have well done what I did last round, just JML hoded it. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Guys, this is the fun part. Let's talk about the back. So, uh, the harvest, the carnage, uh, body parts everywhere back here. Delightful. All right, against Jabba, Kersantin, Bausch, Embo, and Boba, he took out uh, only Kersantin on the first run. Cleaned out uh, Bausch and, um, let me think about this. 
Bausch and Boba on the second go. So it was just uh, Jabba and Embo there, and then he cleaned it up finally uh, for a total of 33. All right, and against Slacker, uh, Sit, Hux, Faust, and Foo. So he got only Hux on the first go, and then 42 on the cleanup, total of 43. Against Lord Vader, Maul, Thrawn, Darth Vader, and Royal, 65. So yeah, haven't done this all season, but surprise! Aha! Uh, triple GL in the back. So we'll see if that doesn't cost me dearly throughout the, the match. I'm hoping not. So yeah, we, we put in heavy taxes on our man Arsenal. Um, leads me to believe that he's got you know quite a bit you know facing us here. So let's talk about his defenses. Top side. All right, he's got his own DTMG up there, followed by Finn Zori uh, with Resistance Hero Finn and Poe, as well as Rose. So no OG Poe in that. Uh, Trey lead with Nihilus, Scion, Talon, and Savage. Then GG with Stap. That's a nice one. I like that one. Dark Crusher. Have you done any cross test with Fu versus FOTP in that last spot? With Slacker. Um, no, I don't really think I have. Like, the the threat condition, I'm sure you're well aware, is just having Officer hopefully do his turn pass to Slacker, and then Hux will do his turn pass to Slacker after that, resulting in a double swipe. Uh, actually, no. Um, the AI would play him doing, uh, Slacker doing the swipe first, so it'll be Officer forces the stab, then Hux resets and then slacker swipes and usually you know a couple people uh, become very endangered if not dead from that so hmm? all right uh bottom front where the games begin so saw cheer at bays kyle katarn and srp followed by seer malikos cal fulkerman crew has had this on offense 100 percent of the time a brilliant switch to put this down. Uh, you know, I'm assuming that he kept whatever the one trade was and, and made sure that he'd be able to get through my ray cleanly, which he did. So, all right. Then Riva, seventh. Um, gosh, GI, eighth brother, and fifth. This is a bunch of big ones, too. Not all Relic Nines, but all big. All right, then Ray, Swolo, Sorty, Zeris, and RJT. Uh, discouraging, maybe, for Starkiller. What are you looking at, Stat? Ooh! Ooh! That's bad. I don't like that at all. Jeez. That's hideous. All right, well. So, let's talk about what the game plan is. Um, against his saw, I'm thinking it's just going to be Afro. We'll stick to the script there. We can, we can definitely afford to bleed some banners, so I don't need to use something stronger than Afra. Plus, the Kron is... It's okay. It's the right, right 369, but it's got crit damage on it and some crit avoidance. It's not like it's got like a crazy amount of either deflection or tenacity. Either one can kind of mess with what you're trying to do, um, you know, as, as Afra. So, we should be okay there. Against his Seer Cal team, I think that's just going to be c -Seb. Uh, my guess is he doesn't have Malgus down. That's kind of what I'm going with right now. Like, he's kept DTMG a couple times for attack, and I'd say that where you're using each of those teams on attack, they're, you're kind of going after the same team, so I've considered that kind of swap myself a few times. All right. Um, against his Reva team, we're just going to stick to the script. Bane Sass has been doing great for us. Uh, no reason to suspect we'll have an issue, but... We're going to run that. And then against his Ray, we've been using Leia just fine. Um, I know crit damage is going to make things a little tougher for Drogon to be effective. And God knows there's a ton of it on there. But we have to hope that the true damage and everything else from Leia is going to be enough. Um, I wonder if Chupio's the best one to take here. There's, I mean, there's reasons to try and resist stuff. I mean, there is debuffs... From RJT, you've got um, offense down, I want to say, from both Sorty and from Ben's AoE. Not a ton of debuffs, but 
Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a, a restart. Oops. No, oh, that's not exactly what I wanted. Hopefully we won't have to do too much of this, but yeah. Arsenal! Hey, man! Um, I think I gave you the stream guest tag, so you should be able to see me lurking in the streaming channel on my Discord. Feel free to pop in anytime if you want to chit-chat. Uh, I think I've got it set up so that it should pick up your audio. Here's hoping. But anyway, Dust Crusher. I was assuming it was a level 9, but the team didn't support the level 9 tune. Um, hmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, Arsenal. Yeah, so you'll pop in. No worries, man. All right. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Let me turn you up just so uh, ever so slightly for the folks at home. Hey, man, can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Let me turn you up. Ooh, now I'm echoing through your mic. I can hear myself coming through on a on a delay for the stream, so you'll have to mute me Ooh, on the stream on your end. Yeah, sorry about that. I muted the uh, stream. All good, man. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, we all know what we what I uh, what I. Sorry. Oh crap! Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I hear you. No, 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 no. Um. No, thanks for the reminder. I didn't put myself on voice activity in Discord, so that's my bad. Okay. I'm here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should hope so. All right. Uh, well, yeah, welcome to the show, man. Good to see you. It's been a long time. When's the last time we squared up? Uh, it was a few months ago. I think it was in threes. Jeez. And uh, I think I just beat you. You had some bad Wampa battle or something, if I recall correctly. All right. I believe it. That's not, that it sounds was... like something that would happen to me. It was just before you went on your big tear, and like we're right at the top for like months. So nice. Of, like, a good time, apparently. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, we we're all having a, you know, this is a, a fall time for some of us. Some of us that like to sweat it out a little more. This isn't uh, this isn't our season. It's not meant for us. Well, nonetheless, um, we'll survive. There's nothing more frustrating than uh, saving a fair bit for offense and still. Still making mistakes. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's an unforgiving uh, meta more than, more than some. Not more than all. I mean, you still remember seasons one and two, Krons. That was the most punishing crap ever. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba Everything set here on the sheet. Okay, good to go. Let's see, see it again in a minute if you're right. That's extra money. Mm. Oh shoot, had the eighty-nine percent C and I'll play. Uh, yeah, no rerolls. Got it. <laughs> oh god, the the C A the, the C A on some of these cards. You and T J have crazy C A on a couple of them. I, I think he has one that's also similar number for deflection. Just absolute madness. All right, so this needs to be changed. Uh, well, that's he's going to basic here, so that's different. Um, she'll get the 100%, so I guess that doesn't much matter. We can do this, because then she'll get bonus turn. That should supersede him, right? Then you basic into this. That gets you your reset and roll. Okay, stage two. Alright, alright. Yep. Can't uh can't stop can't stop the music. Okay. Um you look awfully weak back there, but you're not the primary target. However, you are. Okay. Who did uh, who was your fifth on your app for team or on your saw team? It wasn't Kyle, it was somebody else. Uh SRP. Uh oh, it was Cassian today. Cassian. Oh, Cassian, that's right. Yeah, that was interesting. I haven't yeah. seen him with that team before. Glad to hear that. I'm glad it was a little interesting. Oh, come on now. Leave him alone. Leave him. Damn it. Now leave him alone. What did I just say? I said leave him alone. Leave him alone, damn it. All right. You killed Brat. the BT. I brought him back. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. AI, you do what I say. All right. All right. All right. All right. Maybe we should probably, you know, like hit the guy that we should hit. On the other hand, though, see, this one could likely die, and that can't be bad. All right, yeah. Uh, nope, no ability block. What's important is we tried. 
All right, roll. One, okay. So that isn't exactly what I want. Ooh. Yeah, that is rough. Um, all right, you'll, well, you'll be back. There's at least the healing angle here. Ability block? Yay, that's a good one. All right, you just chill. Be nice. You just chill. Be nice. <clears throat> Have you fallen prey to the uh, SRP coming back nonstop? Uh, not with Afra, no. Because no, if, no. uh, if nothing else, the, the summon droids uh, third has the permakill. Yeah, that's how I killed yours, too. I, yeah. I did an idiot move where I used uh, Reva on it last round. and it's yeah, Honestly, that that's the good. only thing it's meant to trip up is Reva. You know, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so 61, same as, uh, same as our, our friend here. So it was after you used online, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was. I mean, I I kind of knew you were you were baiting Afra to put Jabba in the back, and I mm -hmm. still thought, oh well, I got JMK to use uh, <laughs> to use Dude. on Jabba if that happens, and that went to shit. I I can't wait to hear about it. I assume you'll be comfortable sharing the details after I've cleared your front wall, but we'll we'll get there. Yeah, I'm I'm not worried. I, I'll I'll wait till you do the front, but yeah. I'm, um, I want to look up like Seer Malakos real quick. I want to say, yeah, C's going to work with Set. All right, I feel good about that. Uh, I do love the feeling of the freedom of having C as its own thing, Bane as its own thing, and Watt with Trench full time in it. Love that. Striker, subtask, what have I missed? Just the first fight, man. We just uh, closed out Afra versus his saw. We we each used Afra to counter each other's saws, and we each got 61. So, pretty interesting. Don't forget, he also missed me shitting the bat on you, too. Uh, yeah, you missed the, the review of how my defense performed, and I am pleased to say it wasn't all shit. So, put yeah, that one Combination here. of good D from you and dumbness from me. You know, and I'm sure you would say the same if, uh, if the positions were reversed. You'll take it how you get it. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is. That's how it is. Like you say, it's unforgiving meta and then the competition on top of it. It's like... <laughs> yeah. You know. That's true. All right. This is 22% crit. It's a lot of wasted. Uh, yeah, see, this is the wrong thing. All right. So this is probably the best thing that's most economical. We'll go ahead and use this here. All right, um, man, how big is this? Yeah, boy. All right, that's bad. Mm, that's bad. Mm, this could be bad. How do you want to handle it? Do you want to throw in armor to make it feel safer? I don't think we have armor down. I don't think we'd use her anywhere else. We absolutely have the margin to throw the extra banner at it if, if I feel like it'll give me even a moment of peace. Um, but what does that imply? If you're going to do this... Well, you're going to be out ahead. So what's that mean? Like, for you to be able to put a three... St you don't need a three stack. You just need the two stack. So you can afford to take the money and run. Um, we've all seen the couple of rare cases, and I just did it to my opponent last round, where they take in C, and they end up getting deleted between Malikos and Fulcrum. And I would like that to not happen. So, I'm gonna try. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't fault you for that. Spovo, Tass, I'm going against your guildmate, Zexual Beast. Yeah, he's uh, he's fairly new to the guild. Really nice guy. I'm at 10.2 million GP on the fringe of Kyber 1, and I'm smoked. Brother, I believe you, because that sounds smoked. Um, all right, so here's the bad part. Yeah, we're stuck here for the moment. So, <clears throat> he's going to do true damage, but, I mean, it's really... It is really about him dying, so we've got to link him. So this could uh, this could get nasty. I'm really glad that we brought armor. I hope that may, that uh, it's not you know critical for the mission, but we'll see. Okay. Yep. That's okay. All right. 
Now you've got you've got uh, deception, so you're not gonna hit uh, not gonna hit old boy, right? Okay, you're cool. Everybody's cool. Um, we'll just chill with this. Now we'll go ahead and give a little juice to to set. It's fine because it looks like we're coming around on reset real quick. Like it would be great. I don't think it's gonna happen that we're gonna have uh, Link come up did, again on time. Did you just do the two uh, stacks because you figured they were gonna just go do that to armor? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If we didn't take the money and run, we were gonna have a problem, right? Hmm. So let's see here. Uh, I feel like we have to take it. Let's run. The good news is with Set still on deck, uh, he's still. Ooh, ooh, ooh! The opportunity presents itself. We can relink these two and remove both primary threats from the table. Now this slows down our rotation for a time, but I get to remove uh, both priority targets. I want to say. Okay, leave Brittany alone. Okay, thank you, thank you. Man, he's just G'd up out there. He does not give a shit about an anything. Set is a savage. He is. <clears throat> just so hanging I, out. I got a question. How do you mod your uh, seer? Do you mod it like really slow or do you? Uh, very, different? very slow, yes, very slow indeed. Um, all right, we're gonna link these two and then we relink and then uh, zap with crew uh, and Seer is the links, and then basic him out. We want to get rid of all his protection before this happens, though. Keep block shock around. Yeah, she's in offense and health mods. I want to say around 200, 206 speed, something like that. But like over 7k offense, like she's a serious problem. Um, do we take the money and run? No, we don't. We're waiting. We're waiting because I don't want to be stuck basicing down crew with anybody. Go ahead and do this. Right, that little bit of love here. So he's still just wood ass slow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just chill for another turn. I've got time on my side. How you doing now? You're still rocking with a bunch of prod. Need me to take turns, my man. That's fine. Do that. Looks like you're almost done with turns. There it is. That's the droid we're looking for. Relink. One and two. I'm sure there was a quicker way to do this. You know, my math teachers as a kid, you know, would tell me, Tassinix, you know, you got the right answer, but you took the hardest way to get it. And there we go. Okay, so guess who didn't get absolutely shazammed by Malikos and Fulcrum? Your boy. I'm going to take it. Well done on the slow play. Appreciate you, sir. Methodical. Star Wars Bad Puns in the chat says, What did the clone trooper realize when he walked out of the fragrance store? Wait, why do I need a perfume when I'm a cologne? Oh, cologne as cologne. Ah, oh, man. That's... Man, I'm a dad, and that's that one. That one hurts. That one hurts. Even as like a dad joke, that one hurts. Damn. All right, sixty-one. So we're just bleeding all over the floor out here. However, uh, not dying, and I will take that for the time being. All right, C arm set successful. Reva, um, here. Uh, I get a little twitchy here every few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart it, but we'll go ahead and do Bane Sass there. Nope, I'm not, nope, sorry Star Wars bad puns, you're gonna kill me. Uh, it's actually gonna give me heartburn to say some of these puns. What did Yoda do on a Monday? Nothing, he just let the day go by, man. Mm. Is that a bot or is that a person? I think that's a person, and I mean, may God have mercy on his soul, because yeah. That is real and bad and real bad. <clears throat> All right. The stack is in a weird place right now. I'm finding uh, I'm not getting as many crashes, but I have a lot of times where it'll just slow down. And I'm like, wait a minute, what's happening? And mm -hmm. then it kind of kicks in again. Mm -hmm. It just freaks me out. 
Mm hmm. That's, yeah, I, I hear you. I've had no crashes, God, you know, you know, knock on wood here uh, so far this season because of how frequently I'm restarting. I'm really just not giving it the chance to disappoint me. Mm -hmm. So Stryker hit us with the, uh, it was bad, it was real, it was bad, it was real bad. That's right. That's right. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. For shame. Star Wars bad puns. No, I'm not reading that one. I said I wasn't going to read the last one, and I did, but now I'm not. Ooh, that's a big spider on the wall. Please hold. A representative will be with you momentarily. Hey there, friend. You gotta, like, die now. Sorry about that. So, uh, Sith, how do you got your Bane set up, man? By Bane? Oh, yeah. All health. Uh, all health primaries all the way around health sets. Yep. What's his health and at? 150, I think. Something like that. Pretty, pretty, damn good. That. pretty damn good. All right. Um, I like this one a lot for this matchup. Uh, both a bunch of crit avoidance and some crit damage and out. It's uh, great. Now, I haven't heard of this losing against uh, any encounter in which Darth Bane has his unique Omicron. That's really all I understand that you super need. But, uh, yeah, good Kron doesn't hurt. Yeah, he, he, this will win. He'll oh, yeah. Del we'll delete half the team in two moves. It's true. Also, mine's 149k HP with a crit damage triangle. Mmm. That's dirty. He's a big boy. Yeah, it's this middle hit. Uh, it was Aesop Rock that convinced me on it. Can't can't uh, claim credit for that. <laughs> I'm guessing you have a lot of... Uh... A lot of secondary health on that, too. He's a, yeah, he's a bigger boy. That's right. There's a lot of secondary health. Man, y'all can just keep trying. It isn't going to work. Let's just... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not a problem, is it? All right, that's fine. You can't delay this. It's happening. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. 64. It'll have to do. I was expecting you to put uh, your Ariva on D. I had my Bane lined up for it. Good. Good. I expected that. I expected it. I uh, I, I knew it was a bad idea to leave it down because I saw you knew what, it, what, the, what, what the score was, so I wasn't trying to deal with all that myself all right ray or sorry rebels here and ray leia who can keep everybody straight anymore all right um old ben i do like the ability block here now there's always some discussion that's worthwhile about who to take but i think it's just going to be chupio um <coughs> just a fat block of stats he's going to hand back out it doesn't hurt anybody the, the thing that's super important is, um, you know, he, he's going to help us endure whirlwinds. Because later in the fight, I've definitely lost my Drogon and stuff to a, to a whirlwind later on. I've almost lost Chewie in the past, so anyway, let's <coughs> see what we've got here. I've heard that uh, Farm Boy Luke and the Hoth Bros work really good on this counter. Dig that. Farm boy Luke and the Hoth bro. You could, uh, you could always give that a try if you want. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, this might be one of them fibs. This might be a fib. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? No, I know you wouldn't fall for it. No. All right, all right. Let's see here. Um, ba ba ba. Yeah, got to go after Zerus first and then make our way through. Ideally, we're crowd controlling uh, Ben the whole time. The nice thing is we don't have to worry about him pulling, uh, going under stealth because Leia, every ally under Leia's leadership uh, that's a rebel is going to pull all stealth characters out. So we just have to keep him stunned. Hopefully he never gets one of his AoEs off, so we need to stop him from taking two turns. Um, and the rest of it, we'll just see. Hello there. What are you stealing? Gr oh, the the joke, the bad puns. I hear you, man. 
Everybody's just trying to get by, trying to survive out here. Be great if you, yeah, yeah, it'd be great. All right, now this is convenient. Oh, well, you weren't supposed to do that. Okay, now you see it's not exactly the joint I'm looking for because I was hoping. All right, that's almost a DI. That's almost. Now this isn't going to be a kill. And the turn meter doesn't look good. Yeah, I favor this. I like this outcome. Smack. Okay, gotchas. Uh, you there. Yeah, we're not going to taunt this time. Not at this time. Excellent. Okay, well, it's a little less excellent, but it's going to have to work. Oh, that's uh, not ideal. All right. Okay. This is kind of ass right now. We could do it for the sake of stripping off some of these inspired stacks. Not quite. Not quite. Um, can stun with basic. Probably should go for that here. No good comes from him taking turns. Anytime. Alright, so yeah, we're just stuck here with this, so we have to wait even longer. Alright, it's time. Keep him stunned. Back in on Zeris. Operation resumes. Yep. Anytime. Anytime. Holy shit, dude. All of these turns getting answered is a pain in my ass. Just kill them. Alright, good. You there. Aha. Doink, doink. Uh, well, mm, mm, well, you know. Mm. We'll see you next time, bud. Shields up. Uh, you there, hide. Okay. Uh, you. Now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not the not the best. I've had better. Okay. Yes. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It would be better if you would all burn. So you have to go, then Leia's gonna go, and then I get to kill you. Oh, you annoy me so much, you stupid bitch. Alright, um... I can't kill either of you meaningfully, so I might as well go for you. Now you lock me down for a little longer. We still go for the stun. Bide our time. Bide, bide, bide. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Stop that shit. Um. We actually still have some time. We got to roam. All right. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Okay. So, it worked. She and that's what matters. Oh, yeah. What's that? I just didn't know if uh, Sorty had been in DI yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to say that I thought I remembered seeing that earlier, and that's the story I'm sticking to. Okay. So, a bit sloppy banners-wise, but we knew we had some latitude to work with going into the back. What does he have waiting for us? It is... Oh, wow. Okay, so with Qui-Gon and Slacker on the same wall, I can, I can decide how I would want to apportion any kind of GL-related business for that. So, Qui-Gon Jinn, JKA, Cam, Kellerin, and Mace, the fine choice. Um, gas cracks, okay. Uh, Echo Fives, and Slacker, uh, Hux, Sit, Faust, and Foo. All right, so man after my own heart. All right, well, hey, let's uh, let's take a candid moment here. Then uh, we cleared we cleared the front wall. Let's hear the story. So you were clean up front. You saw the back. I know you started making some. Uh, you cleared a couple teams up front. Then you started in back here, and I think it was Slacker that it first went wrong on. 
Yeah, that was uh, the start of my downfall. Um, <clears throat> my uh, my one small victory, I guess, is I got I, I beat you on the front wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> but then um, I don't know. I, I I really wanted to use Bam Dash against Slicker, and I think I just totally miscalculated the uh, the speeds. And uh, they when I went into Birds, they triggered it too early before I could. Uh, before I could come around to get the full stacks, and mm -hmm. it kind of went to shit. Mm -hmm. So I had, uh, I think I only had like eight birds, and I killed Hux, and then that was it. And I decided to keep it. So, um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing that got me is if if I just would have used uh, Java on Saw, then I would have used Afra on Java, and I would have had JMK for Slicker, and it would have been fine. Yep. Um, but uh, but you know hindsight and all. Um, so yeah, so then I tried, uh, JMK on Java, which normally is super solid for me. And, uh, I, I mean, I always do the strat where I, I know revive, kill, cur, Santin, and mm -hmm. then just go all in on Boosh and mm -hmm. she fucking lit me up. <laughs> and, uh, I was, <laughs> I was like, as soon as that happened, I was just like, hat tip, match over. <laughs> mm. Um, so that was, uh, pretty crazy. And then. And then I used Bane set on Lord Vader, uh, the Lord mm -hmm. Vader Mall. That was uh, pretty easy, 65. Mm -hmm. um, Malgus on the Seer Malikos. Uh, Leia on Rey. Uh, EPSK on Zori. Um, and then I was going to, I mean, I had something better planned for Trench. It was sort of a Hail Mary. I, I tried Bounty Hunters with Aura Lead. But uh, you got the perfect RNG where... Um, uh, Watt put the tank tech on Django and then yes. and then Dooku hit him and I was just like fuck so I couldn't nuke I couldn't nuke Trench so I ended up just nuking Django and that kind of went to shit fantastic um, but uh, and then I, I tried to clean up the Java with C um, but uh, couldn't get through Java in the end so I just cleaned it up with CLS or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah uh you know, two two pretty two pretty hard losses to your two GLs. So it's like, you know, one of those things where you keep that that much for offense, and you're like, damn, I still lost to these GLs with mm -hmm. like, um, you know, the 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 Bam Dash is a bit of a gamble. I don't know if you've tried that before, but um, it worked for me in uh, previous rounds. So I think I kind of was like. Ooh, this is amazing if I can get, like, a non-GL to kill a GL. No, I've been... Where I've been having my BKM on defense, I've been putting down BAM, so I'm just not accustomed to thinking of it as an offensive option. Although, in this case, I think I do actually have it. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, um, no, thank you, first of all, for breaking that down. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, now i got to sit here and think about how I want to do all this. All right, so... All right, I know that I can Afra the gas cracks, but Afra's used. So, JML would work fine there. We'd have to call an audible for a Qui-Gon. Gas cracks. I feel like there's something I'm not used to thinking about that's probably out there. Is this General Sky? Yeah, it is. Uh, Div 1, minimum relic 7. Here, let me flip this on for you guys at home. Um, defending data crumb, ba, 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 ba. I assume that's a turn meter. What do we got here? It is a turn meter. Okay, so C Watt takes it out. Yeah, well, for all the good, that'll do me. Star Killer 65. JMK. Treya 65. That's useful to know. Yeah, that is useful to know. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I was expecting to see Trey on your D, but... Um... Yes! I really actually toyed around with it for a bit, but then I thought it's like, you know, he would not see three GLs in the back coming. And that's kind of what we went with at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> so... Uh, I also noticed um, in history, maybe not all the time, but 
you use the Sauvage uh, lead. How do you, like, do you find that's better, or is it just to mix it up? I, I think that there's a couple people that try to pound through, um, you know, Sauvage with a couple of their counters, and where I see that that might be the case, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll consider that Sav lead. Like, I, I know that Trey lead does more, right? But it's all just about uh, that catch of them trying to actually pound through when Talon's there to save him. Mm-hmm. So, it, it, that's really what it is. What's up, Renee? See, you just popped into the chat. What's going on? Just gonna probably coming in to talk shit. Oh, Arsenal, how are you? Hey, man, how's it going? I'm good. Just chilling out, huh? All right, I feel like I want JML for Slacker, but really I need to actually look at this and start putting it down on the spreadsheet. Uh, da, da, da. Turn on Galaxy of Heroes again for you guys. Okay, so JMK goes where? I think JMK probably goes for Treya. JMK can't. Uh, I don't know. Probably Plo. Plo is okay. Okay, uh, Slacker can be JML. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you what you're going to use as your tank for um, for JMK with uh, seeing that you put Kenobi with Ray. Yeah. Oh, you know, I might be overworking myself about how to deal with the cast because, I mean, how is, uh, how is Reva against that? It's not coming up early on. Well, Star Killer was gonna be for what? Finn? I mean, we could do Mother Talls in there. We don't need to do that. Star Killer, we could do Mother Talls in. Um. Although that's actually what I wanted to do for your GG stab. So. Okay. <clears throat> Hoping that uh, the new Kron that they're gonna get is gonna make that team a little better. Mm, mm-hmm. JML, uh, JCal, JKR, uh, you got him, so what, how do you want to handle it? Probably just Hoda, probably Hoda, JKL. Okay, and then Finzori, Finzori can be... What else do we got? We got a bunch of stuff, don't we? Yeah, right, 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 right. I still haven't assigned Reva. Reva can take out Qui-Gon, so that can be... That'll be just fine for that. Um, and then Finzori is who? Where is Mal- Malgus is assigned to DTMG, Starkiller. Oh my god, BKM for something like that? Okay, so yeah, something's got to get adjusted. Um, I feel like... I think you're spoiled for choice right now, that's the problem. <laughs> the, well, the right way to handle this is probably to rotate JML to deal with Finn Zori, and then use BKM to deal with Slacker, because I feel like that's probably the roughest situation like using jml into a team rife with doubt doesn't sound like a great time whereas bcam's bonus turns really don't give a shit about that you have the uh level six bonus turn sure do well um yeah 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 when they go under 100 percent, yes that's true that's true All right, sad to have dodged you both this season. Oh, free weevil. Yeah, I know, man. We'll we'll end up squaring up soon. It'll we'll get there. R nine foo. Uh, not mine. Right? Yeah, no, his. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bet you got a real nasty finalizer, don't you, bud? Well, yeah, that was when uh, from the last uh, territory uh, battles when we were yep. picking R nines to do. I got stuck with foo, which I didn't mind. Really, I got you. Shit. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hatch it through the top uh, real quick. I don't think anything's going to catch us too much off guard. I guess the gas cracks. 
No, that's gonna be Star Killer food, right? Isn't that the idea? Just, just, yeah. Yeah. I think I used. Uh... Yeah, right. I normally I normally use EPSK on gas. I think I used it on Zori this round. Yep. Yeah, yep. 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 All right, let's get to DTMG. Now, this is one of those times where I really love having my fast Malgus because Malgus ends up being fast enough that, you know, he's, he's uh, sorry, not fast Malgus, fast Malik, because fast Malik's able to be faster than DR. So he's able to get out there, dispel whatever taunt is there in the beginning, and I can get right up onto um, to DTMG and just keep a good fear loop going. I really love how this has been for me this season. <laughs> so what's, what's what's fast in your mind? Um, I mean, you know, like three fifty one dr, so like three fifty two Malik. The 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 upper you can you can push your dr up over three sixty, but good luck trying to get your Malik that fast. That's that's the limit. Okay, I thought. Sorry, I'm, I missed her. I think I thought you meant um, your Malgus was really fast. Yeah, I said that at first, and then corrected myself and said oh, Malik. Okay. So I think I did say Malgus first. So okay. you're, you're you're not crazy. Um, crit avoidance. What are we doing here? It's DTMG. It doesn't matter if it's crit avoidance. Uh, I guess crit damage, strictly speaking, would be the best for putting them down ASAP. <clears throat> Doubt is the ticket. This crit damage is probably better served used with um, Reva. Now this one is kind of interesting because the potency is useful to us. I think... <clears throat> you don't really care if that team gets crit though with the fear, right? No, no it's uh, not really. It's... Um, yeah, and that's why I ended up going crit damage. I think a lot of folks would actually like potency too. I can take a look at it from that point. I think that's what I ran. I ran potency with my Malgus. Yeah, it's not a bad way. I think we can easily afford that. Falcon, I'm happy to void the uh, U3, Weevil, Tass, and Arsenal. You know, everybody up here is a, a serious customer, so it doesn't matter which I'm one of us you see. I'm by people who have beaten me recently. <laughs> I'm yeah. surrounded. Falcon beat me last round. Renee beat me last round. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Doink. As long as Porto didn't beat you, it's all good. So there's this. Now, I, I've often <laughs> thought about this. Um, I like doing it this way. Maybe we get it there. Okay, that happens. But now you get out ahead, hopefully. Reduce max health kind of thing. And fear. Okay. Now we can start you know, resting a little easier. Yep, everybody just chill. Um, there's no lightning to take advantage of right now, so I'm just going to basic. Basic. Lightning storm. There is a fear to follow, but is that advantageous? Yeah, it can be. Let's go ahead. Didn't have any other CBMs or anything to follow, so we'll take it like that. Uh, yes. Arc off that. You arc off that. Alright, everybody just eat it. Alright, yes. Corrupted Battle Meditation, the double hits. Nice blind, you get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. Don't want Scout really to go here. Hmm. You're not really supposed to go, my man. It's a cheat. Uh, let's go ahead and stun you. Alright. Back to it, if you would kindly. <clears throat> Woohoo! Was, was that a Gene Wilder reference you did there? Yes. <laughs> yes. It, I yes, understood it was. that reference. Very good. Good work. I'm old. Are not we all? Shock out. Finish it. No, but you're supposed to actually die, though. I feel like one of us doesn't understand the script, and I feel like it's you. Okay. All right. Yep. Leave him. Go. Go get him. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. He's not a nice lady. Get rid of that one. All right. Let's see if we can't prolong this enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and stun you if possible. That's good. Uh, just chill. Okay. 
Basic. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to be... Let's have you lose your turn to fear. There's no reason for you to have a profitable turn. Uh, go ahead and put more debuffs. In. All right, this is the good one. <coughs> nice. Almost everybody looking topped off from that. Kapow. Um, hmm. Might even save this one for a bit. Jump shot. Not quite yet. You're not banner pinching. I, I need to practice it, though. <clears throat> not, not No offense. I hope you're not in any yeah, way I'm, offended. No, 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 no. I'm... I'm don't, don't worry about me. I'm more talking shit than anything. Fair enough. We all we all have we all have our our cope rounds. I understand. It's tough out there. <clears throat> I almost actually lost this fight last round. Uh, Scout just almost one shot uh, dr. Mm. Kind of went south a little bit. Damn. But, uh, you you did um, a lot of stuns and I think the potency made a big a big uh, difference. It definitely helped. I, f I felt good about basically seeing all of my everything land, yeah. So, 64. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. Um, you, this is going to be fun, right? Let's do uh, Night Sisters. Uh, my understanding is this should be a, a pretty straightforward fight. I have not done this, so if we die, uh, we die well. It's the hat. The hat is the secret to my success, Rokarin. Alright, um, who are we fighting? So we need a little bit of this action. Crit avoidance wouldn't hurt. Again, a situation where potency is also not bad, though. Potency we have in great quantity uh, already. No crit avoidance on this one. Some crit avoidance, a lot of... Mm, wrong, wrong thing. Is that a tiger's hat? I can't really see from my screen. Uh, it is, in fact. Yeah, I live in the greater Detroit area. I'm, I'm pretty sure I must have mentioned oh, nice. that to yeah, you before. I think, uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I don't keep that terribly secret. All right, we'll probably run this one. Um, only way I'd regret that... Yeah, that one is kind of crap. Still <clears throat> tigers and Jays just have a really good rivalry. Mm. Back in the day. I support the hometown. I'm not actually all that big of a sports fan, if you can believe that. How dare you. Hat is what I had in common with Gene Wilder and Charlie. I see. I see where you're coming from. <laughs> I see you, man. Okay, I have no idea how we're supposed to play this, so if we die, we die. Supposedly, though, you know, just the, the doubt alone is enough really put the kibosh on this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I haven't seen too many of these fights, so this should be interesting. Okay, so not a lot of value. I, I suppose we profit a lot by trying to get more plague on the field off rip. Let's let's roll that thought. Okay. 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 Lots of people living out here. It's not my fave. B1's already killed himself for the most part. Um, best to lock him down. It's not going to be a terrible idea to do stat either. Uh, nothing worth dispelling. And we have the big Daka heal coming soon to theaters near you. So we didn't need to use her dispel as a heal. Um, hmm... We haven't had the zombie die. Let's be... Yeah, there we go. Zombie dies. Okay. Basic. Nobody's dead right now. Okay, that's death number two. Now people can start to keel over. This is possibly going to be a bunch of banners lost, but we'll, we'll play it out. We'll play it out. Because by the time GG goes... <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Um, what does that mean? Banner's point of view, all the doubt means that we won't be able to get prop back, so it's just, it is what it is. You're gonna take, you're gonna take what little money you can get and run with it. Um, all roads lead to the and just fell over. Yeah, just do that. 61, okay. Well, it did work, it was a one-shot, so we know that for science. 
the, what it takes to actually have it be 64, 65 is for the fight to go long enough for you to shake off doubt. And I don't know how you do that because once you start really getting a little bit of plague out there, they just uh, start falling over. So I don't know. Um, ba, ba, ba. Let's actually do a couple of the fights in the back real quick because um, and here we'll do a restart at the same time. Um, and actually, this is a great point for me to take a couple minutes break, guys. Let me stretch my legs, refill my water real quick. Really appreciate you hanging out here tonight, Arsenal. So if you want to grab yourself a drink, um, yeah, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. And for all you here uh, joining on Twitch, I'll be right back. party people we're coming back arsenal here in the saddle with me gonna go take a look at some of the teams down bottom real quick make sure that the plan works according to plan not expecting a lot of surprises but uh that's how surprises work all right let's do the star killer Thank you, thank you, Decepticons. All right, let's see here. Um, EP, Mara Jane. Da, 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 da. Grab your boy. Not that Visus can revive anybody, but actually, no, yeah, no, that's a feature of uh, his leadership anytime. It doesn't yeah, require it's that it's a full team. Empire, um, hmm, I guess crit damage, no kind of accuracy, the, the, the real thing is I think I only have just the two of these ones, this is the one we want, so we'll run that. <laughs> Alright, um, gotta do middle first.
Mm-hmm. No counter. Mm-hmm. Stun. Ooh, Ark made it through. Not my fave. Uh, we'll do this. We don't really need the Dispel right here. I guess the AoE wouldn't be bad for putting damage onto uh, the sides. It's not a bad call, I guess. You're going to have a seat here real soon, I feel. Okay. Find the Krex. Kill the Krex. Kill the Krex quickly. Um, this is a stun, yeah? Stun's a target, which can't be <clears throat> evaded. Ideally, you're not going to be a problem for me of any kind. Okay, yeah, that's almost something. It's almost something. Stay on target. Uh, uh. Do you have any potency on this crown? Marginal. I try to go with uh, tenacity uh, for my crown. doesn't appear to be doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, i got to wait till she comes around with her middle again. Okay, that's the shipping and receiving department. Now we can close out the whole team here, but there's no reason to do it like that, right? Because um, ideally we're going to do the ship to finish gas. All right, now he sacrifices, and that's kind of painful, I'm not going to lie to you. Hmm. I need you to do, like, cosmically huge amounts of damage. But you're about to stand up. Well, that's not my fave, my friend. Okay, now there's the 10 down I was looking for. That's important. A lot of buffs getting gained. Not my fave. Alright, that applied. That's good. Middle, once more. Get the goods. Okay. It's only genius if it works. Uh, let's see here. Okay, he's actually on the track. Okay, now you hit her, right? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Um, you're not going to counter this, so what the hell do I care? Because all these guys are going to go first. That's why I care. I mean, whatever. Do what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That isn't even all that big a deal. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Step it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just heal here on this one. Um, hmm. Do one of these. Do one of these. Hmm. Well, we tried. 60. Too much damage. That's right, it does double damage to Jedi, so that does end up hitting pretty hard. Took us too long to get around to Starkiller's turn, and we would have been able to top off just fine. <clears throat> it's a pretty solid fight either way. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and do BKM. Is there some reason why this wouldn't work? Cam, 100%. Okay. Very good. Became 100%. <coughs> oh, hey, the new crowns are in the store. Right? How's it going, Tess? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I heard about that. Yeah, I got to pick some up. Thanks for the reminder, actually. Sir Traxmas, take a, uh, take a seat, young Skywalker. How's it going, Tess? Yeah, so far, so good, man. Just chilling here with our opponent, uh, Arsenal416, here in the chat. 
Uh, he's already cleared my squads. He's still got fleets to go. But uh, we're in a strong position because we haven't had any drops yet on squads. And Arsenal did have a handful. Um, so, you know, our, our lucky day to be sure. All right. Uh, let's grab this one. Bonus turn. And away we go. All right, um, you there. Get. Okay. Now, you're not going to be the most grateful customer. I can feel it in my bones. Um, why don't we just roll you out then? Just out of existence. Why don't you just be somewhere else? Be somewhere that is not here. Go away. Like you. <coughs> that was pretty rude. Yes. It was. It was. It was rude. I don't feel bad, though. I gotta, gotta be honest with you. Ooh, that's great, because he's about to swipe, you see. That's, mm, that's good. That's spicy. We could get, we could go for the clothes. Yeah, why not? Why not? What do you, you know, what's, what's the downside? Womp. Womp. Okay. Okay. And, and style of birds. Blind, you get nothing, you lose. Um, the basic, it won't do a call, will it? You know, I think it will, but a rando, right? A, it's only nine. Mm, aim it at him then. Dig it. Uh, this will be armor shred. The mass assist wouldn't be a bad call though. Armor shred's better. Yeah, Armor Shred is better, because now we're also going to shake the BI, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is... It's a health restore. Eh, what the, hell, you know, what the hell do I care? Actually, no, the ability block would be potent. Better than some of the alternatives we're dealing with here. And this should be the rollout. Doink. 63. Will do. That was advertised as a 61 on GG, so we'll take it. Nice. Thank that you, was, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> that's making me, again, rethink what I did, because uh, I feel like that was a bit too much of a uh, overkill with me using them to be bag on the front wall. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just starting to rethink my moves. I would have probably used Malgus there and then have both in the back. Yeah. Yep. And, and so <laughs> that's where I think the meta is right now, dude. It's, it's, we all know what we have to reserve to make sure that we're going to be clean on attack. And so the, you know, all the power teams you're lining up in your planning, like, you know what you've got for every one of the main teams you're expecting. So now it's really about what kind of either B team stuff or very specific draws you're looking to set up that you're setting bottom front. But, like, mostly, I feel like giving your opponents the opportunity to choose how they're going after the, the weakest teams on your board, bottom front, giving them that discretion up front before they can see the back is about the best value you can get for those B teams these days. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my yeah, idea. That's, that's a good strat. <clears throat> <clears throat> All Give right. them enough choice so that they make a mistake. You don't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I don't know how this goes, but my intuition would be to ability block first. Because we need him to not do stuff more than I need anything else. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We knew that this is uh, likely to be the case. Okay, so now he's free. Not my fave. Uh, we can't do anything. Stop that. So this would be great to get rid of. So he's got enough that we can stun him. It's so important to keep him on lock. Now we should be able to clean him right out. The fire here would be key. Look at that, man. You can't beat that with a stick. Mm. Just mm. <coughs> um, 
All right, we'll do the AOE, get rid of the foresight for everybody. You get. Mmm. Mmm. You like B teams on top, Exo? Yeah. Um, there's certainly no one size fits all. I think it's just mo against most of the opponents I face because they they know their tendencies and they know what they're gonna do every time they see a saw, they see a DTMG. They you know they're looking for the same teams every time, and you can lean into that. You can upset that uh, just with placement, I think, because you, you it's still kind of narrow how much you can really afford to put on defense. Like here, this defense is my toughest defense by far this season in terms of GLs, right? Four GLs down. No, I had one 5GL round. That's true. Um, but I also lost that round, and it wasn't that great. So, mm. All right, 65 there. So we are, are clear through the back. What was that, Arsenal? Oh, no, I was going to say... Uh... I, I just happened to cross this on .gg for against your... Because I think you placed the exact same column, right? For, for Qui-Gon? Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> I used uh, Lord Vader Maul 2-man for a 68. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that's interesting. I never, I never thought to try that before. I normally like to keep Maul as his own team. But, mm -hmm. um yeah, what, what a world we're in now, and we're just throwing GLs at Qui Gon teams, right? Or, Only because you can't take, you can't afford to mess around. You just can't afford I, to mess around. I know it's just, it's just the way it is now. And it's, and it's just, it's prohibitive. It's not even worth the effort to try and make your Echo fast enough to be faster than people's Qui Gon teams. Like you have a three eighty one Echo, and that's like safely three speed behind JKA, who's the slowest of the three of. Qui Gon, JK, and Cam. Like it's yeah. just not worth the effort anymore. And plus, with the amount of teams we have, like, why even risk a counter like that when mm -hmm. you can just overkill it, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Top side. So, when do you plan to go in on my fleets? Oh, I do. It. We can do it together if you want. Mm hmm. I don't think it'll matter at that point, but... Um, hey, I mean, it's it, this is definitely not one for me, so let's all calm down. Like, fleet matters. You know that. You know that fleet matters. Yep. Alright, Ahsoka. Um, I really don't think we need anyone else. Um, could have Padme for the added kick, though. There's no reason to go light. No reason to go light. Uh, Scoundrel, we don't need no revive. What we would benefit from is the one... Uh, well, I guess let's sort by armor penetration. That's the best way. Uh, defeats an ally, take a bonus turn is exactly what I was looking for. Now, unfortunately, though, this is potency on three, not stacking offense. Uh, ability block is a close second, and this is 50% armor penetration, so certainly nothing to sneeze at. We'll make good use of this. Now the now I mean once Trey is gone, the ability block will matter, but by that time the whole fight won't matter, so whatever. Alright, let's uh let's get this done. <clears throat> Who are you gonna nuke, Savage? Yes. Exactly so. But, you know, Savage Lee wasn't going to stop this nuke anyway, right? Because that's not yeah. actually taking him below one health. This is just a, a bye bye effect. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's true. We would want to target him so that we could... Well, no, we're going to delete him, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, so in that case, we would want to hit her. All right. Glad we all worked on that together. Thanks, folks. Uh, you. All right, now you. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Good, good. Come here. Give me your face. I would like to create a mask from your teeth. Come here. Come here. Stop it. None of that. I don't care for that. Boy, if you delete any one of my dudes, I will have a pissy fit. Okay. Probably need to do this real quick, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just stuck here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just gonna... Yep. Mm-hmm. And then he's gonna get this turn. So we're probably not gonna get that. Mm. That's annoying. And now you're gonna get saved. Okay, okay. So now we have to do this now. 
First, let's get rid of Frenzy. That's, I mean, that was just funny anyway. All right, now that almost was Harry for a sec, because he was getting close to coming around on us, so. Up, up. Yeah, 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 we're getting shredded up by the Treya leadership right now. All right, um... Yeah, he's already got his survival thing, so... Yeah, we're just gonna get chewed up a bit. Hmm... How do you want to handle it? That's fine. Okay. The ability block's actually kind of nice. It's not all bad. Okay. Um, we're still in alt ourselves, but what's the right move? He's going to go... Plow is looking pretty low over there. Let's try and top old boy off. Uh, this could kill... I don't think we're going to have the time to make it back around, but we we should at least be able to get her health back. <clears throat> ah, well, it didn't matter. 64. Oh, wow. I wasn't actually expecting it to be as high as 64, but we will take it. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I still could get her health back at the end. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'll have that. Um, what do I care about? Prod up is the safe way, but we don't have to think about it in terms of safety. We could go armor penetration here and pick up that potency up, because the potency is going to be kind of funny just to keel them all over. All right. Can't wait to see what you got set for me on fleet. All right, push. Wait, you can't do that. Get him. Kill him. Um, you there. I guess you didn't look at my crown, did you? No, but, you know, that's what true damage is for. <laughs> Man, yeah, no, glad I didn't have Afra for this encounter. I'll say that. I'm sure that's what you were intending with that. Well, actually, it was, it's more anti-star killer. Oh, Okay. Star killer yeah, against see that. Is, is an is a no go. Yeah, yeah, I can absolutely see that. Yeah. But <clears throat> when you mix the damage types, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Plus coining, it doesn't matter. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> Just get worked. It wasn't very nice to Rose. No, it's not. Uh oh. Stop it. Hit you boy up. And one. Nice. Uh, it was like this. You were already very low. Let's give you the bonus. And smack. Damn it. Not a fan of the deflects, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna do this, and then we'll do this. There it is. Mark. Right. Clean enough is the answer for how we did. No drop, well, to, no drop to tax, but plenty of banners bled. All right, sir. The, uh, the board is evened up. Let's have a look-see. What did Arsenal put down? All right, so Mal. Uh, Executor triple. And then an Endurance fleet. I saw one of these jammed you up last week, so you decided to adopt it, eh? Well, I think it was... Um... I think it was in that fight when I was uh, I was banner pinching at the end and I uh, was undermanning and lost. Mm -hmm. You know, I made a mistake in my fleet placement. I meant to make one change, and I know it's going to cost me with you, banners wise. But uh, it's okay. I think you were still going to win the fight anyway. You'll know which one. But um, 
Let's see, if this one's gonna be that, then what's the other fight gonna be? Who gets, uh... Yeah, I guess Executor gets Chimera today. Or, no, Executor can have Negotiator. So Malevolence gets who? Um, hmm. There is a Chimera versus Executor. I don't have experience with it. But we can use Chimera versus Endurance. There it is. Uh, and then Executor can just be Profundity. Okay, so we have a we have a path. All right, so how do you want to duke it out? You want me to go first, since you went sure. first? Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, we'll do that. Is there a reason to use Resistance Hero Poe instead of OG Poe here? In my opinion, no. Um, you know, Resistance Hero Poe has that. Uh, AI tie with Resistance Hero Finn, so if your Finn is clocked to be faster, he will always do that trade with Poe, who will, you know, um, ping back and make sure that Inspire gets on Resistance Hero Finn. There's a lot of damage in that burst combo, but the the threat of the team is the Resistance Hero's Finn speed and then all of the shenanigans handed out by Zori. So what you really want is for your tank to cover it, and then they're going to try and bully through your tank, and then that tank is going to hide and go under stealth, right? Or get DI, um, and then your squishies could be exposed. Wouldn't it be convenient at that time to have a second tank around, one that also strips turn meter from the enemy team? Uh, that's, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm down with Poe. Old Poe. Yeah, I think it depends on the cron, too. Like, if you Fair. want to go offense, it's probably better to have handbag po but if you're yes. gonna something like what i did it probably would have been better with og po mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so you got that one uh all right we'll go ahead and do this negotiator fight first <clears throat> but also when you're using jml against it it doesn't really matter who you have <laughs> yes that's also true yeah um <laughs> and and i gotta say how good it is that i rotated that there to get a 65 because you know that that wasn't going to be uh no, 6 to 5 against the slacker in the back. It could be like a 64. I've seen it as high as that, but that's tough to get, I think. Or it could even lose. I think I I had a, a bad one and lost uh, JML mm -hmm. to slicker. See, there you go. But. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to take the extra ship. Let me think about it. Won't really be necessary. I've never needed it before when it was this way, so I think I'm gonna roll that way. All right. Um. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Newcron set may shuffle this up. Uh. Yeah. Absolutely. Dusk. There's a lot of bulk stats and then offense to to counter it to pound through. Interested, very interested in the new set. Like some really yeah, actually, resistance have some pretty interesting crowns too. They do, they do. I was just talking about dope stats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, we just basic. <clears throat> so no, no marauder here. That's not my preference. Um, I know that there's more than one way to skin this cat, though. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, this works fine. I'm just. Uh... I'm just curious if you have it. I, I, th I know most people will. Oh, yeah. I for they, sure they do, got it. Yeah. If they do, um, like the malevolence or the endurance mm -hmm. comp that I did, they mm -hmm. can use, still use this on offense, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let me think about it. How do I want to hit this? I want to hit this like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is gonna happen, and then we actually get lapped once. So you want the CI on him. He could die though, we could lose banners there if we're greedy like this, because there could be an assist tree. So let's go ahead and use this here. I usually like to wait one more turn to use it, but needs must. All right, this is gonna be okay. Yeah, this is actually gonna be okay. All right, let's have it. Let's have it. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, could hit you. It's not a bad idea. Don't hurt nobody's feelings. 
Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we'll maintain your taunt. No harm from that. Uh, bombs. Seventy-five will do. All right. Uh -huh. So you're just going to do yours in the background, or what do you want to do? I mean, I'll do whatever. If you want me to stream, I You want to put it up on screen? Uh, I could try and figure that out. Let me turn off my screen here, and you can put up yours. And then I'll blow that up, make that the whole screen, and then switch it to desktop view. We'll lose the pretty scene for a moment, but... Everything else should work. Okay, yep, we're all there. Okay, so now we're watching uh, Arsenal's view. He's going to go ahead and take on Leviathan. I'm uh, YOLOing this, practicing my undermanning. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's a good call. I think you're going to be okay. This uh, this was the error I referred to. I meant to, I saw I saw how often you're saving Leviathan for offense, and I meant to switch that up and have uh, Assassin up front, but just uh, an oversight. I knew it as soon as the round started. I was like, ah, shit. Well, this this is the comp you want to be anti Chimera, I guess. It is, it is, and that's uh, I had it set that way against my opponent from the previous round. I just didn't. I forgot to change it up for you, so it's uh, my dodo move. All right, boys, get him. I don't know what the... Um, see how he still kept his protection? Yeah. I mean, sometimes he, he gets it stripped and sometimes he doesn't. I don't know It's what a resistible effect. Uh, prote okay. The protection disruption is a resistible effect. Okay. Yeah. So some of the time that will happen to you. Okay. Yeah, the reason this generally works well is because if you you get the uh, get out ahead and you get the hangers, um, you can't get uh, your sass just dies when he comes in. So yeah, yeah, sass just dies immediately, and you're able to loop. Right, and you, you get the uh, you get out ahead for the um, the alt Makes race. Sense to me. Makes sense to me. Get him, boys. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, damn it. Why did I in? Nah, they oh, were all dazed. dazed. It was just, yeah, just going to happen. Yeah. It was just happening regardless. The only problem this fight's usually pretty long. That's true. All right, bye bye. Mm hmm. See ya. They probably hit auto at this point, but probably. Yeah. I'm sure there's some banner maximization to be gained if you're patient, but eh. yeah. Yeah, there. I mean, you could see. I would have done the middle there because you could probably do that. Two like middle, times, right? middle, third, middle again before the end of the fight, something like that. Yeah, you're right. yeah, I think I'm gonna be missing out on a couple of banners there. It's really the least they could do. Uh, it's not so bad. Should what two? Maybe yeah, yeah. is just fine. Yeah, you can normally get a 77 on that, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. It was not meant that that should happen. Uh, it was just a complete screw-up on my part. Do you All want right. me to roll again while I got it up, or...? No, I, I can flip it back over. We'll keep we'll keep in okay. kind. Um, sure. Let me go ahead and flip up my screen again for you. All right, there we go. Um, don't like taking any pauses without a restart, so we'll do that real quick. And, yeah... Uh, how do we want to handle this? I guess we'll do Chimera versus Endurance first. 
Why do I... Do I have some type of bad memory about this? And we'll hide this for a second while I look this up. Um... <laughs> Yes, you too. Talk to me, 60 cents. Yeah, Chimera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to be just fine out here. All right, Chimera. One and two and three, four, five. That should be all. Try to blow that one up. So, ideally, we would put damage on him. Hmm. Hit the weakest. Can't hurt. We'll end up having to hit a tank, and then we'll not regret having more target locks on the field. AoE's not my favorite there. Um, probably best to stun you. How would you like to handle that exactly? That's fine. We'll do it like this. So it's just important that this ship stays stunned. I don't really need you taking turns. Okay, that's fine. That's all fine. See, this is where we would have stripped a whole bunch of buffs, but he got lucky with the ability block right off rip. Nice. We're just getting pounded out here. Okay. Uh, gotta do the heal up. He's no longer stunned. We have to be mindful. Basic. All right. Enemy down. All right. Strip. That's very well timed. Okay. Now it's starting to get a little more real. Uh, yes. Let's go ahead and bring you out. We're almost there. Almost to the coming of the end. Still can't get really get behind him. That's an interesting thing. Uh, da, 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 da. There's not really a lot of worth in that right now. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll spread more foresight instead of doing the lock-on. Okay, okay. Almost to the coming of the end. You're under stealth, actually. That's kind of disadvantageous. Basic to you, then. Try and take you out. Yeah. That's annoying. It's a lot of jam. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. Rap. Mm, yeah. Heal you. Alright, I was getting a little worried about that one. Right, that's fine. I see you. And you're stealthed again. Right, I see what you're about. Alright, there. Enough of your games. Enough of your tricks. Um, let's do this. I don't I really don't want to kill with this. Right, that's fine. It is what it is. And there we go. Now, who needs this most? Probably you. All right. And 72 will do. Nice. Okay. Let me get you back over on screen. I'm going to turn this off again. Move this over. Blow this up. And switch it to desktop view. All right, there we go. Got gotcha. you. All right, cool. <clears throat> well, I will do tenure as well. Come get it. I need all these guys, though. Uh, I think I can probably do this with but I'll leave it like this. If I'm you, I, I'd, I'd run it with just this. 
I wanted to practice some banner pinching, but I don't need to. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you'll be able to tell over the course of this fight if you feel like you needed that that extra ship. So you'll see for yourself mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, I find um, this counter is nice because the um, the amount of buffs they gain when you when Scythe does the strip, you just start wrecking. It's a very natural fit. Very much agree. Yeah. Bleep. Beautiful. Uh, do that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, dodge. Oh, yeah. You yeah, boy! Another dive. All right, dodge this. You better dodge uh, it. Oh, oh. <coughs> Almost That's there. Right. All right. It was a nice one. All right. All right. Let me flip it back over here. <clears throat> Gotta love the R9 Iden. Yes, <laughs> that that is a fat choice. It's so good. I'm I'm right there with you on that. All right. Last but not least, we will go ahead and restart for the final fight, and hopefully the gods do not curse me. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Daughter's up past bedtime. Wants milk. Hmm. Yeah, this takes a while to boot. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, um, you know, banner pinching wise. Mm, if I was really caring about the banner pinching, I would take just, just the um, Biggs ship. Yeah, you could even uh, three man it if you really wanted to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, yeah. Not, feel, not feeling all that, friend, but I appreciate you. It's a kind offer. Very kind offer. All right, let's go. I think at this point you're pretty safe. Even if you two-shot two this, you're going. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, here's hoping. We don't have to, but yeah. <laughs> it does happen often enough. All right, you there. Brett, Brett, Brett. Okay. Not terrible. Not the worst. Not the best. All right. That's a good start. Um, yeah. I've been bitten by this before, but I think there's a way to handle that. Why don't we go for it like this? Yeah. Yeah. That's, whew, that's extraordinary. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yes. The days you weren't able to call along. And then you decide to split focus. Wow. Well, you got a lot of assisting there. Was nice. Chosen by God. All right, not quite, uh, not quite exactly what I was hoping for, but we'll go with this. All right, you here? Don't <clears throat> dodge! Don't dodge! A my man, a my man. All right, so we'll keep this uh, basic. It's possible. It's possible. Hey, nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roll this. Beautiful. You're gonna basic soon, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually like when they switch focus and don't just kill the Y wing. 
Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's what you're hoping for. Yeah. That is the dream. Okay, you're all like that. Uh, low value actually in going for this. Uh, ninety three percent. Probably want to move this back over here. Uh, basic, get an assist call. There it is. Okay. And now you should be able to open this right up. Mm-hmm. Right. We should... Man, that's annoying. Not getting those assists there at the end. All right. <laughs> You're killing me with that, man. No, it's okay. Slow roll me. It's cool. I'm not mad. You're mad. Okay. I swear to God, if this thing gets around to actually hitting and hurting one of these ships, will none of you assist at this point? Thank you. Well, at least it's happening at the end and not the beginning. I mean, I guess, yes. 74. All right. Through the board. Let's see Arsenal fi uh, finish off this set of attacks. We're doing the same fight. Gotcha, gotcha. Very nice score, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll do my recap here once we finish out your fight. Do you the courtesy here. Let's see how this goes. All right. We've got Arsenal back on screen once more. Okay, he's running it without bigs. <clears throat> see if I get the. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm not hoping, the worst not, worst. not hoping the worst for you. But yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, there was a Ooh dodge. the dodge! The forbidden dodge! Oh, oh man. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it all worked out in the end. <laughs> that was crazy. Ooh. Playing with fire out here. Get them, boys. Get them. Get them. Oh, they split focus. Okay. You got a chance for great banners here now. Woo. Looking good, looking good. Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you weren't going to dodge. All right, well, you know, can't have everything. I'll pack on this, dude. Yeah, he'll basic there soon. That's good. Mm -hmm. Just keep building up those crits. Uh, do I want to bring it in? See, I like basic over back to your uh, dash ship, but this is not never a terrible choice to fill the board. I like that move. You can sometimes finish them off here too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like it a lot. <clears throat> Alright. Well, it should be 375s on fleet, but not enough to make a difference. So, good game, my friend. Beautiful stuff, man. Nice 75. Alright, guys. So, yeah, we just saw uh, Arsenal execute his uh, three fleet attacks. He was... Uh, more efficient than I was there, so thank God the the fight didn't come down to me on, on fleets today. A lot of times fleets would have done it for me, but not today. So it's good stuff. All right, um, yeah. For the rest of my defense, Arsenal was kind enough to clear that before we went live. Uh, so I did cover that at the beginning of the stream. Go back to the start of the vod uh, to catch the detail on that. Let's cover the attacks. Bottom front. Against his SAW team, we went in with Afra, BT1, Triple Zero, IPD, and IG88. 
for 61 banners. Against Seer Malikos, uh, we went in with C set, and at the last minute I was thinking about how, you know, Arnold, um, my opponent from last round, and others have been caught out using C against a Seer Malikos uh, in which, you know, like Malikos does a decent amount of damage early on, and then Fulcrum follows up with a big hit on C that takes him out. Uh, I wasn't trying to see that happen to myself, so I took a long armor. We we took an early two stack on Sith Eternal and felt very safe. Bled a few banners, though. 61. Uh, against his Reva, you know, full Inquisitorious. Bane Sass, once again, 64 banners. Just a slam dunk. And then Ray Swolo, RJT, Sorty, and Zeris. This was actually by far the roughest fight. Um, we had a few really unfortunate whirlwinds from Ray later in the fight. Now, I probably could have held back my R2 smoke screen maybe one turn, and I think we would have been able to prevent one, if not both, of those deaths. Um, either way, closed out the fight 58. It was certainly the roughest of the bunch. All right, let's head to the back where we saw Full Qui-Gon with a set 12 armor penetration. Uh, went in with Reva. Say, pulled Reva off defense because I know everybody's doing Bane Sass, man. I'm doing Bane Sass. So I took it off def uh, defense and, you know, you're thinking, like, I got a 68 using JML Hoda to take this out. Uh, a 65 with Reva as opposed to serving up a, a freebie, um, you know, to, to Bane Sass. Felt okay. So, yeah. 65 instead of 68 using like JML. Arsenal here said that he used Lord Vader and Maul, just the two of them, to take out my Qui-Gon for the same 68 that I got with JML yesterday. So plenty of ways to do that. And it's all about making sure that you can one-shot it. Technically, because this was a set 12, I didn't have to worry about, you know, getting stuck behind Prada. So I could have probably even used Bad Batch if I was willing to hazard it, which I wasn't. All right, against his Gas Crex team with the Set 13 prod up, the 10% turn meter getting handed out by the Rebel Fighter Ally, we went in with EP, Mara Jade, Starkiller, Visus, and Juhani for 60 banners. We were just, mm, we were this close to greatness, you know? We, we had wiped out everybody but Gas. We were, we were slow rolling them, taking them down bit by bit, uh, and getting ready to drop the ship with Starkiller. We'd been holding it this whole time. And then Bonehead Me, uh, I could have used third, I could have used basic. Instead, I used middle with Mara Jade, which is uh, an attack that conveniently does double damage to Jedi, which gas is, and that wiped him out um, just ahead of us being able to pull down ship. So 60 instead of 65. Against Slacker, full first order here with Hux, Red Trooper, Faust, and Fu. We went in with Bcam, Paz, Grogu, Bam, and Bo. Pretty sure you don't didn't need all five characters, but you know it was okay. Sixty three banners, it was pretty smooth. All right, top side. Against his DTMG Scout Storm Gideon and Death, we went in with Malgus Dr BSF Malik and Sith Marauder for sixty four. Against his Finzori team, uh, JML, Jedi Cal, JKR, Hoda, and JKL for 65. He had extraordinary high uh, deflection on here. So if I was in the position of needing to do, like, Afra, or he had intended this mostly to block Starkiller, that could have been nasty, and I have used plenty of either of those taking on Finns this season, so it wasn't a bad bet. Uh, against Treya, Nyla, Scion, Talon, and Savage, we went in with JMK, Cat, Plo, Ahsoka, and Padme. Definitely could have undermanned this, but didn't have the need to, so 64 it was. And then last he had set uh, GG, Stap, so that's B1, B2, Stap, and Magna. Uh, there's a few different ways to take this out. I think somebody in the... Excuse me. I think somebody in the chat earlier said they used Tuscan's... Um, very comfortably against Arsenal's GG Stap last week. Uh, and I assume it had to have been be uh, better banners than what my Mother Talzin did, because that's what we took in. Mother Talzin, Daka, Zombie, Marin, Asajj. And I got 61. Um, I think with a little practice, I could probably squeeze out a bit more, but there isn't a whole heck of a lot you can do when they start melting and then you get those waves of doubt all over your guys. Um, I don't know. I, I, I wish I could see some other, you know, some video on it of people... 
controlling the fight into a 65 deliberately, but good to know that uh, you know this isn't so nasty on defense. That said, this is a 61. This pulled four banners, and we have incoming Separatist Crons with a level 9 effect 4 stat. So this is probably going to be something real coming soon. I think if you look on .gg, the Tuscans work, but it's generally even bad banners than that. I think it, I think the average is like 58 or something. 58? Okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah, if it's worse than Night Sisters, you know, I mean, I knew I wasn't be I wasn't going to be using the Night Sisters anywhere else. So, yeah. Um, I think that's why I put it down because I'm like in, in this meta, if you if you get a, a team on D that drops seven banners, I'll take that. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, I'm I'm right there with you. And honestly, I think a lot of people have been saying this uh, lately. Like Finn Zori is just about the worst team that you have on your defense these days, and it's a fine team. Uh, Fleetwise here in the back, where we just wrapped up against his malevolence with spy up front, vulture on the bench. We went in with negotiator for seventy five. Against his executor, uh, triple attacker, went in with profundity for seventy four. And with Endurance, uh, went in with Chimera and scored a 72. Got a little juggled around a bit by some shifty stealth stuff, but uh, still managed to get the job done. All right, guys. So, yeah, um, again, you know, we, we had a great squads performance. Uh, I, I know I said I wasn't going to go into detail, but I, I will show you guys. We had one hold up, uh, up top front, no holds in fleet. No holds bottom front, but we did end up making him use some teams that we wanted him to not have for when he got to the back. And for the first time this season, I had three GLs waiting for him. Um, if he had, if he had, I didn't ask you, Arsenal, if you had watched just my last stream, but if you had, you would have seen I'd had Java for offense, so you had fair reason to expect I might have kept him again. But not this time! So, you know, we had uh, Java Slacker and Lord Vader in the back, and um, both Java and Slacker gave him a bit of trouble. All that added up gave us enough margin, more than enough margin to cover the bleed. But that being said, boy, did we bleed a lot. Because I, I want to say his total banner bleed on squads was 77. And now look at that gap. That gap is not not all that big. We, we, we bled like a stuck pig. So Yeah, I mean, aside from my losses, I think all my wins were pretty pretty close to full full banner wins but yeah um but the, you you did a good uh strat of pulling my uh pulling afro with saw so i didn't have it for java yeah yeah and i know you said you saw it coming but that's the idea it's like yeah you know it's there no, i know it's there but you still yeah, have to get there so that's just it i saw it coming and like my my pivot was like nope not today <laughs> yeah 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 i mean i'm delighted about that jmk it's very rare to hear jmk failing against java so man will i take that all right uh arsenal again once you know once again thank you so much for joining me here on stream i'm gonna go ahead and start to wrap us up here and get ready to raid out um if you guys want to follow me keep up with uh, when i'm gonna go live uh you know shoot me a message got questions anything like that get at me on discord that's a place to do it so there's the link if you want to catch this uh, episode and previous GAC VODs uploaded to YouTube with chapters added for easy browsing, check out my YouTube. I also have some GAC exclusive content up there. I uh, had a, my very first Datacron video for set 13. That's the set that we just finished up in the last Conquest. This week I'm going to be sitting down here with Aesop Rock to make our video about the new set 14. Uh, that just actually appeared in your Datacron store in-game if you've had your latest refresh here since they did the update today. So check that out. Get started if you can. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, on the YouTube channel we have that Datacron video, and we also have my GAC-focused podcast called Plotting and Scheming. Uh, I make it with my friends Dagger TJ and Sasha Isha. It is a week in review format going over uh, what worked for us on attack, what didn't. Uh, what were our standout defenses, what lessons were taken from this week into the next, and any other tidbits we think are important for you to hear. 
Um, you know, all uh, all of you know, all you out there on YouTube that would that follow the channel, appreciate the hell out of you. The episode comes out to our general YouTube followers uh, on Fridays, and for all of my patrons, it comes out a few days early. We usually record it about Monday, so I'm usually able to get it up like Monday night, Tuesday morning. So you get a few days extra. You usually get it here uh, uh, ahead of the next GAC lock, so those couple extra days can help you make any adjustments before you're locked in for the whole week. Um, that being said, you know, let's go ahead and shamelessly plug for the Patreon. So if you like what I'm doing over here and you want to support the channel, you want to so uh, support me, check out patreon.com forward slash Tassinix. I've got something there for any upwardly mobile streamer. You know, $5 gets your foot in the door uh, to the Tass house and you get that early access to my content. And, you know, you uh, support me and I really appreciate that. 10 bucks gets you access to a Megabot Patreon. Uh, so that helps you come up with that detailed scouting report that I went over on Arsenal here at the start of the stream. Um, can't say enough about how much time that saves me, really. And then at the $15 tier, not only do you get the aforementioned Omegabot uh, bundle rolled in, the Patreon bundle, you get a Hot Utils Chili subscription. So that's Hot Utils uh, Patreon level. And that is just some of the best mod management, uh, inventory management, loadout management that you can do. It, you can also pull a compare between yourself and your opponent, get some great at-a-glance information, like what we reviewed just before I went into the Omegabot report. So check all that out. All right, we do want to thank the patrons themselves who make all this possible. Uh, at VIP Access, shout out to White Wolf, Sam Vimes, Jobin4527, Stark Strategy Gamer, Rene Bebe, uh, Deadpool Cow 28, Johnny B. Ottawa, JJ's Productions Twitch, Sweens14, Darth QPPMG, Ray's Malbus, and Brock Thud Steel. At VIP Access Plus on that Omega Bot thing, uh, we've got. Trevor Boy Gaming, Striker, and one of my newest patrons, Esh Satnatakim. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. At VIP Access Premium, uh, there with the Omega Bot and Hot Utils, we've got Quig, Sir Boss, and my very newest sub, uh, Ibanek. Thank you. Thank you guys for stepping into the new shoes. At the very top of the heap, there can be no substitute for Nomad's Reaper at Jester's Club Elite. This is, uh, without exception, my most outrageously uh, amazing supporter. Pops in from time to time, drops thousands of biddies, do dozens of subs. Uh, this month has just crushed it hype train-wise. I think we've had something like an 18, a 17, and a 13 this month. Mostly, uh, you know, hauled on his back, so... You know, uh, appreciate the hell out of you, man. Uh, so many great things are done here on the account um, and accelerated. Thanks to you. Really appreciate it. All right. Last but never least, we got to cover the special thanks to Yoda Force, one of my earliest supporters, uh, my former guildmaster when I was in Vanguard. Also got me this microphone I'm speaking to you on back in the day. Uh, he's long since quit the game, but we remember him fondly on the other side. Hope all's well with you, man. To Mrs. T, my wife, thank you for helping here on the back end as our daughter is, you know, seeking to have me write her name and write the ABCs and the one, two, threes and all this stuff during stream. Really appreciate your running interference and helping me keep my Patreon slides up to date here. Looks good today. All right, to Dagger, TJ and Sasha Isha, my co-hosts on Plotting and Scheming, really appreciate you guys. I know you have busy work and family schedules. Love what we're doing with the show. Couldn't make and uh, couldn't make it anywhere near to the quality that we do uh, without you guys. So, just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, appreciate the hell out of you. And also a special thanks out there to Dagger. Uh, he's an admin on my Discord. Helps a lot out with community questions and stuff on the back end. Appreciate the added support. All right, let's head on back over to the main scene and make ready for departure. Ah. Uh, Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Looks like Zareth's online. We uh, we support our Gambit brothers here on this channel. So let's go and send uh, send the man our support. Uh, manage prediction. All of you who went one or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all made it. Y'all made it today. All right. Let's get you your one or less. Complete prediction. Thank you guys so much. All right. Let's go ahead and start up this raid here. To Zareth. Da, 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 da. 
There it is. Okay, starting up the raid. Uh, I will probably stream on Saturday morning. I usually start like 11 a.m. or as late as like 1, maybe even 2 p.m. Eastern if things are running late. But as always, I'll keep you guys posted on my Discord. Uh, until next time, it's been real. It's been awesome. It's been real awesome. Take care.